question is for you. Um, with the free throws, um, how do you kind of fix that? And what are you doing right now to kind of you know, iron some things out there? Uh, I'm just um, really, I'm doing a lot right now, honestly. Just staying before and have to practice. He noticed before our game, like when the team is doing free, uh, free shooting, I'm at the line shooting. Um, it's really a mental thing right now. Last year, I was around this, around this time, I was shooting around, you know, well, a little bit better, honestly, but shooting around the same. Um, and then after Christmas break, I kind of turned it around. See how it's, you know, it's all mental. My form is good. Uh, on most shots, I, I just noticed that, you know, I know what I'm doing wrong, and that's the biggest thing. I know that, I noticed that, you know, some shots, I'm pushing the ball. Um, I'm not getting the ball up. Uh, I'm not bending my knees, so I just got to stay uh, flowing with it, and I just got to keep shooting. Um, I'm not really too worried about it right now. But last year, I finished at you know 77, percent so um, you know I know I'm a good free throw shooter. I talked to my coaches; um, they know I'm a good free throw shooter. Just got to lock in and uh, you know and just hit it. When it is mental like that, and what are some of the things you can actually do to get past that your mental block? Um, I just have confidence in myself. You know, um, I first the first uh, couple games. When it wasn't, you know, when I was really shooting, you know, worse, it was, uh, you know, I kept the line. It was just like, oh, I don't want to get fouled. Like, you know, like, you can't think, I can't think like that. You got to think, you know, I want to draw fouls on the, on the defense. And I feel like, you know, once I want to get fouled and get to the line, you know, that just puts the mental block in my head. Like, oh, yeah, you know, I know I can get, you know, easy points from here. And, I, you know, I can't, I can't go three for nine from the, you know, field and leave them extra points out there. That's, you know, that's hurting our team, so. What's that? Jerome. You, you, I, I'm sure you work a lot against Juwan in practice. Mm -hmm. What's different about him this year? I know he's had some injuries the last couple of years, and yeah. it seems like he's healthier this year, but there's also maybe just a confidence or an assertiveness that we haven't seen before. Yeah, um, actually, me and Juwan went at it pretty well the last practice, and um, he's, he um, he has just newfound, like you said, confidence to the game. He, um, I feel like this is the first time in the last, you know, I, I mean, in my opinion, since he got, you know, from high school, he's able just to play his game, play how he wants to play, and then obviously he's doing what coach needs him to do. On, but he's just playing his game, really. He's staying calm on the court. Uh, he's not doing anything that he doesn't do, um, and he's being a great leader for us too. So, Pete, from when you face, <laughs> you know, sometimes the age limit here is a little tough. Mm -hmm. um, when, when you uh, when you face a team with a length of rule. Um, and you're certainly going to be facing it quite a bit. How, how do you approach it? Are you aggressive? Do you go at it? Do you try to go around it? How, how do you approach it? Um, personally, I'm going to try, uh, try to attack. Um, last year, um, I did the same thing. And this year, I think, you know, the whole team, you just got to you know, attack their uh, presence, attack their bigs, get them in foul trouble, um, and just attack the rim. We can't let their length bother us. Um, we got to just play our game and do the, uh, execute the game plan that coach has us to, uh, um, to do. So. They've also been playing, I think, some 2-3 zone this year. You, you saw a lot of that weirdly in, in kind of the early part of the non-conference schedule, even some from Duke. Do you feel like there's maybe, I guess, a comfort level that that's thrown at you now? You guys have seen enough of it not to be thrown off by it? Yeah, yeah. We, um, like you said, we, had, we experienced a lot of it earlier in the season. Um, and I feel like you know, the offense that Coach put in play for the 2-3 zone is very effective. So we just got to, like I said, execute. And um, you know, just stay confident and attack the only to attack the rim. We can't um, attack the rim soft. But that's how they're going to get a you know a lot of block shots and then running transition. So we got to attack the rim like we were trying to get fouled and we're trying to you know finish above the rim. Mike, uh, Jerron, Coach Miller mentioned having a few extra days to clean things up. What, what, what besides you know getting ready for a little? What have you guys worked on? Uh, well, yesterday was our first day back, so um, really we just worked on transition defense. Uh, rebounding. Um, what else did we do? We did a uh, we did a lot of uh, we spent an hour or so on just defense, defensive concepts, hedging screens. Uh, you know, just doing what we do on defense, and then you know, tightening up our offense um, and um, tightening up the movement that, that we do and staying spaced out, getting to the corners, uh, bigs ducking in in the right time and timing of our uh, offense. Without asking for too much like behind the scenes and so info, when you talk about working on defense, is it more like Concepts and kind of working through things. Is it competitive drills or is it maybe more like schematic? I guess. No, nah, competitive, competitive drills. Um, everything's competitive. Rebounding, um, going at each other. Um, um, we have to do. You know, we have to run our offense, but it's really based on you know defense. So you know, just going at each other in practice uh, for you know most of the majority of the time.
Uh, Duran, uh, coach just said that uh, Devonte Green had the best practice yesterday that he's had in a month. I mean, what do you, what do you remember from what Devonte did in that practice yesterday? Um, he wasn't trying to do um, too much. He was getting everybody. Involved. Not saying that he doesn't get everybody involved, but yesterday was he was you know attacking the paint and then kicking out, and then you know that forces the defense to you know respect that, and so they have to you know you know that's what we play a pack line defense, so. We have to, you know, our guards have to hedge or dig in and get out. So when Devontae's driving to the lane and kicking out, now they have to respect that. So now he has open pull-ups in the lane. Um, he's attacking the rim. He's finishing. And um, he just, he really just made our, you know, our young guards really better yesterday, honestly. So. All right, Jerome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.